Why is your twin flame going no contact with you right now? This is a special reading. We're going to be using the Ascended Masters deck along with the Power of Surrender cards. So watch all of this reading because it's going to give you lots of juicy insights and awareness to your consciousness and why you might be repelling your twin flame. So before we begin, we have a fun demonstration for you. These are two um, magnetite, uh, hematite um, pieces, specimens, rocks, crystals, stones, and you know that they attract each other. They're, they're like magnets, right? What's happening right now is they are, you're, you're in a state of repelling, you're chasing, the twin flame is running. I love these props. I think they're so appropriate. And so what we want to do is we want to get your energy to turn inwards and attract them. You see how that worked? I'm going to try it again and show you. If you're looking at them, your, your energy's turning out, you are repelling them. If you, if your energy has turned inwards, you attract them. So let's find out what's going on inside of your consciousness with the Ascended Masters deck. I hope you liked my demonstration. Can you tell that I was a classroom teacher for 10 years? I was. Any other teachers out there? And I hope you're doing well. It's November. 11-11 is coming next weekend. I'm excited. That is like the twin flame holiday, right? Um, I have two special things happening as, I shuffle, as I'm shuffling the cards. I'm going to tell you about them. I have a special 1111 Twin Flame Portal reading. It's only 2222. And you can get it now, and it's going to be delivered to your inbox on 1111. Okay. I also am hosting a special Twin Flame Portal workshop for you. Um, with some other Twin Flame Ascension coaches. So let's go ahead and pull cards. Nurture yourself, Mother Mary. So you're um, repelling your Twin Flame. They're not talking to you because you are not focusing on yourself. You're not nurturing yourself. So look at look at your life. Are you... I'm sorry to ask this, but I have to ask this because it came up in my consciousness. Are you taking showers every day? I mean, I'm not saying that you smell bad. I'm saying... Are you loving yourself? Are you taking care of your body? Are you um, putting lotion on? I know those, those are very simple, easy things, but so many of us, and I've gotten into the habit of this when I was very busy of like skimping or cutting corners on my self-care, and that, that didn't help me at all. That actually made me feel worse. So nurture yourself, and this is also an energetic thing. Nurturing yourself doesn't have to be an action you take towards yourself. It can just be going into your heart and just imagining Divine Mother nurturing you. Uh, my spiritual teacher, Shalia, did a powerful visualization exercise when she went into her heart and imagined being breastfed and held by Divine Mother because her own uh, birth mother didn't do that. So she gave herself the childhood that she never had. Peace offering, white buffalo calf woman. So this tells me that you're pushing away your twin flame because you're angry at them and they're, they don't want to come close to you when you're angry at them. I know that it seems like what they've done is um, very uh, detrimental or, you know, atrocious, let's just say. But I do want to share and remind you that you and your twin flame are one. You are like these, right? You're, you're one at the core. You're two peas in a pod. Um, you are created with the same soul blueprint. So what your twin flame did was reflect a part of your consciousness, probably a subconscious part, something you couldn't see about yourself initially back to you for healing. And yes, I know that can be kind of challenging. That's why I'm a, an Ascension coach. That's why I help twin flames with this piece of the mirroring, but um, you don't need to hold on to a grudge. It's important for you to release um, your, your grudge towards your twin flame because that is repelling them. I'm going to read a passage from this book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover, that I just thought of. It's about the eight keys of the foundation of your harmonious union. It's about forgiveness. So forgiveness means to let go of completely 
When you can completely let go of a previous upset with your twin flame, you do not free them, you only free yourself. When you choose to hold a grudge upon someone else, you do not harm them, you only harm yourself. Many try or have tried to prove this is a lie, but a lie is a lie, and releasing the illusion that holding a grudge doesn't hurt you will always prove that it does time and time again. We see so many twin flame couples who look like a pair of squabbling ducks who've been holding on to grudges for what appears like centuries. We see them energetically arms angrily folded, looking away from each other, both expecting the other to notice how upset they are and subsequently change for them. This is such a silly and insane way to go about your twin flame union. If you expect them to change, apologize, or do anything for you to let go of your upset, you're absolutely insane in your expectation. Remember, your twin flame is literally you. Maybe your grudges worked to starve the other person of love from your previous romantic relationship so much that the pain would shock them into awareness and they would gladly bow to your leverage. But that doesn't work in your twin flame union. Your grudge will only drown you in separation consciousness. When you understand this, you can rise above the pettiness of grudges and transcend them to the realm of true forgiveness. This transcendental state is easy to achieve with a simple choice you adhere to all the days of your eternal life. Here's a simple decree for you. State it once through the center of your heart and choose it whenever it arises for you. Here you go. I choose to forgive all upsets past, present, and future any time they arise. Forgiveness comes easily, joyfully, and naturally to me because forgiveness is part of who I am. And extending forgiveness to another naturally extends forgiveness into myself. So that is all about this card, the peace offering card. I want you to know that forgiving someone doesn't mean that you allow mistreatment. It simply means you recognize and let go of the thing that you're holding on to. The, the grudge or the holding on to something, that doesn't protect you from what happened. What does? Doing the inner work, restoring your consciousness to harmony, the inner creates the outer. So you were creating that situation previously. Now wipe your sake clean and start again with peace in your heart. That's something I can help you with if you're having trouble there. Uh, so book an Ascension coaching session with me in it. That's what I'll help you with. Good. Take charge of the situation. It's really flowing with what I was just saying. You, my friend who's watching this, with, whose twin flame isn't talking to you, how do you take charge of the situation? You don't go and text them a million times or call them until they block you, right? You Take charge by starting the inner work, by doing the mirror exercise that I was talking about. This is a powerful spiritual tool. Don't, don't try to attempt it just on your own. You're going to need to practice it on your own, but I want to really encourage you to seek guidance with it at first because you're dealing with your conscious and subconscious thoughts. These have been around for this lifetime since childhood, and if many of you believe in past lives, these limiting thoughts and beliefs that are very sticky and very magnetic in your consciousness have been there for thousands of lifetimes, right? So don't, don't think like, oh, I'm just going to learn the mirror exercise and, okay, I read it in a book and I'm going to try it on my own. Thanks, bye. Some people, like you're going to need to do it on your own. I can't do it for you, but I can help you see where you're getting stuck. And I've been doing that for nearly five years now guiding twin flames to heal separation consciousness, and I'd love to help you as well. So in the description box, you'll find directions for how to book an introductory session with me. And now, as promised, whoop, we're going to bang the camera. Just kidding. As promised, this is your power of surrender. So just to give you an extra boost, what you need to surrender. I know this might seem hard, but I promise it works. I've been through it. I've held grudges towards my tin flame that went nowhere. And as soon as I was able to um, let go of those grudges and love my twin flame, he started talking to me again, right? This happens even though we live together sometimes. We would get in a fight and I would, you know, oh, well, I'm not talking to him till he apologizes. So that's wrong. That's not how 
Twin Flame Union's work. But I had that pattern because that's what I was taught by my own family of origin. So I had to really work and let that go. I have my own Twin Flame Ascension coach that I worked with. Shout out to Jason and Chrissy. Thank you. All right. So surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to, quote unquote, make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Okay, let's do another. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Last card. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. So I hope this reading helped you. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for all sorts of juicy Twin Flame content.